a touchdown. So he's already has the edge. Now you have a guy with, you know, receiver-like qualities. He will probably be one of the most impactful players on the field this next year. I hope that rings true. It, it will. I promise you. He's number one. We hope he's the next great number one in the tight end room for BYU football. Yesterday, I had a chance to speak with the great Keanu Hill on topic. Naturally, how this week of practice has been different than what the Cougars were doing in fall camp and what he guarantees BYU fans can expect to see when it comes to style of play on Saturday night. My one-on-one with Keanu Hill on BYU Sports Nation. Keanu, game day approaches and the excitement builds. How would you sum up your emotions as you get closer to kicking off what you hope is an outstanding final campaign at BYU? Man, this is exciting, man. Just seeing everybody fly around, not just me as a senior, but like just seeing all the boys ready to play some football, man. I think uh, last, last weekend, just watching football, we were all anxious to get on the field this week, so it's, it's, it's going to be exciting. What do you think is the most important lesson or thing that you've learned about this team through fall camp and into game week preparation specifically? Just the just the preparation and the and the brotherly the brotherhood that we have here. I think uh, even that we're going against each other, competing against each other every day. It just feels like just we're like we're brothers. Even like after we have things that we could fix and all that stuff. But like I just feel like the brotherly and the the pr preparation. How has your role shifted now that you've been fully integrated as a tight end and it's almost game time? I think my, uh, my big role is just, uh, helping out the tight ends with this running running routes, I feel like. I feel like that's my biggest role right now, just being a leader, uh, seeing how the other tight ends can perfect their routes or get do have a better release and stuff like that. I feel like just having that uh, uh, knowledge is really, really, really beneficial. Everybody wants to know, because it's BYU and there's a great history and legacy of tight ends at this university and this football program, how much the tight ends are going to be used in the past game. Keanu, so can you can you tell us a, at least a little bit of what's going to happen? I'm not going to elaborate too much on it, but just know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun at that tight end position, especially in that room, man. we got a lot of players like Ethan Erickson, Ryan Swanson, Tava, all them boys ready to play and get in there. Tava uh, comes out and he's listed as second on the depth chart. A lot of BYU fans don't know as much about him as they know about a guy like you or even Reiner who got a lot of attention in spring ball. So what kind of player is Matava Tase? Matava Tase, man. I, fun thing, coming into that room, if anything, he's been a really big help for me, really really vocal leader, especially when it comes to the run game, you know, knowing fronts and all that stuff. Outside of football, man, that boy's a goofball, man. He just, <laughs> you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a father. He's very loving. He's very kind and stuff. But the one thing about Tava, man, he's a goofball, man. I really love Tava a lot, man. It's like my brother right there for real. Big personality, big body, big blocker how has your run blocking blossomed and developed it's, it's, it's coming along very great man even though I'm only like a couple months into the position man I feel like it's coming along very great just because I was a great blocker at, at receiver and I feel like it's just now transitioning into the trenches having more technique a more a lower pad level so it's coming along really great walk me through a scenario where you feel like I mean you're licking your chops based on what the defense is doing okay so who's lined up across me and you're like throw me the ball Honestly, anybody, man, but if anything, most likely linebackers and safeties, man. I, that, that's when I feel like I, I have the best chance of getting the ball and the best chance to show my showcase of my talent. So, I know a lot of attention has been paid to the quarterback competition, and you're, you're keeping it secret, you're holding it close to the vest. What's the most challenging part about that as you as you try and wait to reveal on game day who that is going to be? Uh, I feel like for me, man, I don't. it's not really a challenge. I just feel like if I come in there and do my 111, it's going to make everybody look good, so. Simple enough. <laughs> okay, Keanu Hill is with us on BYU Sports Nation. What will we see from the BYU offense that is clearly different from last year when you look at this season? Just explosiveness. I feel like especially coming into this season, man, with uh, A-Rod just bringing in some new pieces like Kevin Gilbride, Coach Woods, man, I feel like we, it's going to be very explosive. I feel like, like I said, this O-line has been doing a lot of good this offseason, and they're for, for sure going to make some noise coming into the season. What are you seeing the offensive line do specifically that makes you think, okay, yeah, clearly they're advancing and they're getting better? Just their intensity, the way they're getting calls out faster, the way they're uh, see when things adjust, how we – uh, how we adjust to it, and I just feel like we pick up really quick on that. So I feel like that's one thing for sure is that we, we, we were quick to adjust and we're quick to get calls out when we need to. I know you're very close with your dad. We love Lloyd. Great man. He watch, he's, a, he's a devout watcher of BYU Sports Station, so he's stoked that you're I'm sure that you're here. But what's the best bit of advice he's given to you as you transition from wide receiver to tight end? Uh, just don't be complacent. You know, I just feel like for him, like he's always been that guy to always uh, – 
look for things to fix, not always be like, oh, good job here, good job here. He's always been like, always looking for things to fix, always try to find ways you could get better. Don't always be complacent on what good you did or what not. Always, always try to be great is what he always gave me. So, How's game preparation going for Southern Illinois? Walk us through your typical day as you prepare for the Salukis. Uh, just mainly just watching a lot of film on their defense, man. They're, they, they're very competitive. They fly around a lot. They, they do a lot of moves, especially up front, man. But like, like I said, we're coming in, just watching film, just doing what we need to do to execute and to come in and play great. What do they do as far as blitz schemes and packages and, and and how do they set up on defense that maybe causes you a little bit of concern? Um, I don't think anything's really a concern. I feel like we watch a lot of film and we kind of uh, expect and see what's going to come for us. But um, like I said, I think if anything, uh, like pressure-wise, I think they bring a lot of a lot of chops, a lot of field, pre a lot of uh, boundary pressure. So we just got to work and pick up on those. I feel like, and like I said, they have a lot of linebackers that fly around, and they have two safeties that's that's coming back that's, that can fly around too, come down and hit. So we got to be ready for those. Keanu Hill on BYU Sports Nation. What are you looking forward? to the most about playing in Lavelle Edwards Stadium on Saturday night? The Rock, man. I think that's the most important thing, man. I feel like just coming in there, seeing all those people, just getting loud, especially for us, especially coming in there to win, man. I feel like this brings a lot of motivation to us. So for sure, we're going to need y'all to be loud this Saturday. <laughs> How do you personally handle what have been put out there in the media as low expectations for BYU football? How do you approach that? I just don't – just cancel out the outside noise, man. I just feel like what we have going on here stays from within here, and with any outside noise, we just we just let it be death ear, and we go on and do what we know we could do. So, As far as game week preparation goes, how has this week been different? I know film study is clearly involved, but – Aside from film study, how has this week been different than what you were doing all the way through fall camp? I just feel like uh, the intensity, man. Just even though we're not going against like our number one defense and stuff, we're going against scouts and stuff. Just having that same intensity, like we are going uh, playing the game right now. I feel like that's the big, the biggest emphasis that we've been that we've been doing, especially this week. Favorite player to run a route against on your team? Um, on my team, I would have to say. Mm, there's a lot of people, but I have to say, uh, Town Alfred, he lucky kind of gives me, he's been giving me a little, a little hard time from here and there. Even though he knows our plays and stuff, he still gives me a lot, a little hard time. So, <laughs> Talon, you tell me Talon talks trash sometimes? He don't talk trash, but he does have good, some, some good skills. I give him that for sure. So, <laughs> okay, who does talk trash on defense? Um, Trey, man, Trey Alexander, man, that's my boy, man. We, even though he, he probably, even though he's from Atlanta and stuff, he likes, he likes to talk, especially, man. So that's my boy Trey. Okay, we'll finish with this. What can you guarantee BYU fans will see if they come to watch BYU football play in the stadium or on TV on Saturday night? Just an explosive, te an explosive offense, explosive team, and people that are ready to play football and ready to fly around. Let's go. Keanu Hill, he said it best. Thanks for the time, man. Thank you. <laughs>